Hi everyone, I'm here to tell you about our new version of the Echo 360 recording system. The new Echo 360 Active Learning Platform, or ALP as we like to call it, has a number of new features that you can use, such as Q&A, flagging and note taking. First off, let me show you the new interface that you will see when you go into ALP. You will now see the ALP link in your Wattle course, not in the block on the side. Click on the link and you will be taken through to ALP. This is what it looks like now. You will see a list of all the classes in that course where the scheduled recordings will appear once they have been captured by the recording system. Once the lecture recording has been captured or uploaded by your lecturer, it will appear as a green icon next to the class name in that course. The other icon is the presentation icon. If your lecturer has added a PowerPoint or activity slides, this icon will be there. These icons will turn dark grey once you have viewed the video or presentation. The bubble icon will show you if any questions have been asked. To view a recording or presentation, just click on the icon. This will give you a drop down with different options. Then click either view or on the image to open it up. Then you can view or play the video by clicking on the recording. If your lecturer has added a presentation, they may also have added some activity slides into the presentation that have polls and quizzes for you to do. Click on the slide. Use the arrows to navigate through the slides or click on the squares at the top to view all of the slides. While you are viewing a recording or presentation, you will see a number of icons along the top of the screen. Let me show you these in more detail. If your lecturer has enabled the Q&A function, you can ask a question by clicking on the bubble icons. Then click on the new question button. If you want to post anonymously, click here and then click the blue post question button. Just remember, questions or comments you post are only anonymous to other students, not to your lecturers, so be careful what you post. You can use the bookmark icon to mark something you found important or interesting. Use the flag to indicate if you are confused about something. You will need to check with your lecturer about how they will be monitoring flags and the Q&A. Click on the notepad and pencil icon to take notes. If your lecturer has set up activity slides in a presentation, they may want you to respond and select an answer. You can answer questions in the presentation by clicking on the answer or option you want to select and then clicking the submit button. Or in some cases, you can respond using SMS. To use SMS, you will need to register your phone number in our to do this, return to your course page by clicking on the course name in the top right corner. Then click on the cog at the top of the out page to open the drop down. Select account settings. In the phone number, change the country code to Australia and put your number in. Use the tabs at the top to get back to your course. Well, that's it. Have fun using out. If you need further help, go to our website for more guides and information. Thank you.